Hello everybody, this is Uzo, I'm back for round two. I thought I was just going to cook and shoot the video. I didn't know anything about editing the video. We went back, we listened to the, um, the video. I was like, oh my God, I said I'm so cheesy at some point. You know, I kept on repeating myself. <laughs> who, who told me to do this? But um, I started having cold feet. I think it was on Friday morning. I had a friend that put something on her WhatsApp status. And I was like, confirm, I am doing it. So we're going to have to dance before I teach you how to do your puff puff. Niger puff puff. Hey. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, na, na, na. Hey. Oh, na, na, na. I believe in God, or oh, even the devil know. Say not true. Oh. I said, believe in God, oh, everybody know. Say now you did rain. Oh. Hey. I said, believe in God, or oh, even the devil know. Say not true. Oh. I said, believe in God, oh, everybody know. Say now you did rain. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So for your puff puff, what you need is I'm gonna make just a small um small quantity today. So three cups of flour. Actually for puff puff, you need only three main ingredients. Um, your flour, your sugar, that's one cup, three cups, one cup, and warm um, water. I, I'm always extra, so sometimes I, I use uh, milk. Oh, sorry, warm water and, so I guess one, two, three, four, and your yeast. So your, this is an instant yeast, um, uh, one tablespoon of yeast. And for flavor, you can do any of these. So I have nutmeg here. Um, I have almond extracts. I have orange. And I have strawberry. So whatever my ancestor says I should use today is what I'm going to use. Nutmeg for sure. So I'll see. So I'll go ahead and start. Um, the first thing I do is pour my flour, my yeast. This is one cup of sugar. That's it. And then I'll go ahead and mix. Oh, before, sorry, before I mix, I'll put my nutmeg. Maybe like one tablespoon of nutmeg. So why don't I just do orange today? So let's do orange. That's what my ancestors said I should do. Uh, yeah. And a teaspoon here and there. So go ahead and mix it. This is the easiest Nigerian snack. And for your puff puff, so for your puff puff, it can be at least 90% of the Nigerian parties would always have puff puff. So you just keep mixing once you get to this consistency. Another thing with a puff puff is after you let it, let me see, after it has, it has risen, you can either add more liquid to it or just fry it that way okay so that's this that's pretty much it okay so you, i'll go ahead and cover it up i am in champagne illinois so it's kind of cold 
today so i'm going to put it in my oven actually what i'm going to do is warm up the oven for a minute and i will go ahead and cover it up like that put it in my oven i didn't realize that i had stuff in the oven okay leave it in there and let it rise for about an hour or two okay if it was back in nigeria i won't have to put it leave it in the oven i'll just leave it out, out you know out and it will rise in about an hour or two and then i'll start frying okay i'll scoop it you can tell that i'm not a professional yet but hey this is just how you do it And make sure initially um, that your oil is hot and then you go ahead and reduce the temperature if not it will brown and wouldn't get done inside okay so this is what it looks like and I will stop here so I can focus so this is what it looks like This is what it looks like. So yum. Just, just look, at, look at how doughy this is. This is so good. And you have to let me know how delicious this is. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and try it. Mmm. Cho mm, chop one. Not, not as good. Chop one, chop one thousand. Look at how, look, oh man, this is so doughy. Oh my God, thank you guys so much for the like, the comments, all of the feedback. I got a feedback at midnight from uh, Chonye Dwe, uh, my able neighbor, and she I was like, oh, so you need to edit. I was like, no, 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 no. I didn't feel like doing any more edits, but it wasn't the video. It was something in my, um, to give my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for sharing my content and for liking and following. See you next time.